Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and some tricks which will help you in creating the best embeds possible. For this video I'm going to be using an embed builder and so I have a visual interface to work with. So to make these embeds I'm going to be using Coralbot. I've mentioned that bot in my previous few videos on Discord and it's a bot I always use to make my embeds. Now I'm not sure if everything in this video is going to work for every other bot but as far as I know if you have an embed builder everything should work. Now this video isn't going to teach you the fundamentals of how you create embeds so I'm not going to be going through the basics. I'm rather going to go through more advanced tips that you may not have known to make your embeds look as good as possible. So I'm going with the best of the best tips. So we're going to get a bit more in depth than just how to change the colour of an embed. I'm sure every Everyone knows that. So I'm going to be going through some things you might not have known you could do with the embed builder. So first up, we're going to be making some hypertext. So what is hypertext? So I explained this in my first Discord video, how to improve your server part one. Basically it's clickable text that redirects you to a certain website. So we're going to be creating something like this in this video. So as you can see, if I click this here, where it says newest videos, it'll take me to a website. Here I just set it to Google so you can see what it would look like. So instead of putting google.com, you could put whatever link you would like. Obviously not a virus, so please don't do that. I only found this out a few months ago and I'm really glad I did because as you can see here, if I go to my welcome channel on my server, here I have some links. So clicking this will take you to my server website. And this will be a permanent invite for the server. So all this different text here takes you to different links. So as you can see here, if I click on latest update, it will take me to the latest update in my server, which is outdated, but no one needs to know that. So how do we do this? So as I said, I'm going to be using Coralbot. So I'm going to go to the website, Coralbot Embed Builder, coral.gg. And then down here is the embed section and the utility. So say I wanted it to say newest videos. So what you're going to want to do is head over to the embed builder, then open square brackets. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing more easily. So open square brackets. And then you're going to want to type up the text. So in this case, it's newest videos. So newest videos. And then you're going to want to close that square bracket once you've typed out what you want the text to say. And if you want, you can add an emoji in this. So I'm going to... What did I use here? Okay, so... I use this here, clapperboard. So if you put that inside the square brackets, you'll be able to click this emoji and it will still take you to the website. Whereas if you put it outside, you, it, this won't be underlined, so you can't click this. As you can see here, if I hover over the emoji, it will take me to the website because that's within the square brackets, if that makes sense. It's basically whatever's in the square brackets here, you can click. If it's outside, it won't be clickable. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open curvy parentheses, whatever you want to call it, brackets, ones that look like that. And then you're going to want to paste whatever link you would like. Here's my channel. You may have seen it before. Right, so if I copy this, I go to the address bar here. It doesn't have to have HTTPS in front of it, because as you see, if I paste it here within the brackets, it will automatically put this here anyway, so you don't need to worry about typing that out. And then once you paste the link, you're going to want to close those brackets with the same type of bracket. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see that a bit more easily. So as you can see here, I have an emoji here, then the clickable text says newest videos in the square brackets, and then the link it will take you to is in the curvy brackets or parentheses. So you can kind of preview it here. Bear in mind there is no space here. Don't put a space between these, the square bracket and the open parentheses. So if you do it, it won't work. So make sure there's no space there. It looks like there is because it extends onto the next line. But if I zoom out, as you can see, it's connected. Right, so let's send that to my private channel. And here we go. It says newest videos. And if I click that, it will take me to my own channel. I'm going to show you a quick tip. So if you head into any channel on your server, so I'm going to right click and go to copy message link. If I want to have this as my clickable text, so here I'm going to write unblock channels and then some emoji like, I don't know, let's put a fire emoji because I have no idea what else to put. And then if I paste the message link, I'll send it to my private channel again. If I click this, it will take me right to this message. And alternatively, if you get rid of the numbers at the end, so highlight everything after this forward slash here, if you delete that, and let's send it again, and click it, it will just take you to the channel. So by removing the numbers, we change it from taking us to this message here to taking us to the channel. So basically what this means is, this first string here should be the server ID, and then this one here is the channel, and then this is the message in the channel. 
And I almost forgot to mention, if you want to do formatting within the hypertext, so if you want to type bold, put the two asterisks around the text, that's how you do bold. So before and after, if you send that, that will also appear here. So you can format your text if you'd like. Now this is more commonly known. So I want to tag a channel or a user. So for the sake of this, I'm going to just tag the news channel. So if I type that out and copy it. So if I paste this in here and send the message, it's not clickable. And if I tag a user or a role, so I'm going to tag the owner role. Copy that. And paste that here. It's not actually pinging me. So how do you fix that? So what you want to do is type out your channel or your user or the role. So I'm just going to stick with the owner role. So if I type out owner again, but before I send the message, if I put a backslash before the at symbol, or if you're doing it with the channel, then before the hashtag. And if you're doing it with a user, then again, before the at symbol. And then if you send that, you might need developer mode on, which is enabled in user settings. And then I believe, yeah, in appearance, developer mode. You might need to enable this, but I'm not exactly sure. But make sure that's enabled. And then copy this string here. And then instead of typing the at owner thing here, we're going to paste the code. And then we're going to send that. And as you can see, it did actually mention my role. Now bear in mind when you send these embeds, it won't actually ping the person. So if I type owner here, as you can see, it, it's mentioned me. But in this embed, it won't give me a notification because it's in an embed. Don't ask me why, but that's just how it works. So why not? Let's do the news one again. So let's put a backslash before the hashtag. Copy that. And instead of news, I'm going to paste that. And as you can see, if I click this, it will take me to the news channel. Now, something I want to mention is, if you use these two fields here, which is the image URL, which is the one that is big at the bottom, and then the thumbnail URL, which is small at the top right. So let me get some images to show that off. Basically what I'm doing is right click on the image and copy link. If I paste that in the other one and I send that. The point is if you use this then the embed width will be limited. So if I type some random stuff here I can actually be bothered to type that. If I send that then it will just basically extend out to this point here whereas if I get rid of the big image at the bottom and the top as you can see the embed is a bit longer. So basically if you put any images here if you put one here or one here that will make it so it's limited to this wide. And this can make text look really squashed together. So that's something to bear in mind if you want to use images. Right, so here is one of the best tips of this video. So I'm going to show you how to copy and embed. So how do you copy one? So what I mean by this is if I go in here and I want to copy the server info embed here, basically I want to copy everything that's here and basically be able to edit the code in here. So what, what you want to do is go to the embed Right click and copy ID. Again, you might need developer mode on for this. And then in a bot command channel or wherever you want, what you want to type is your prefix. So in my case, it is the percentage sign. By default, Carabot will be an exclamation point, but this is whatever prefix you use. So if I type embed source after that, that's embed source. Just one word and don't put any spaces. Then you want to put a space and paste the ID you just copied of the embed. And then after that, you're going to want to hit space and type out the channel that you copied it from. So in my case, that was the welcome channel. So you're going to want to type out welcome. If the embed is in the same channel that you're typing this command, then you don't need this here. It's only if you're linking to an embed in a different channel than the one you're typing in, then you're going to need this. So if you send that. In my case, the source is over 2k characters. So if it's over 2000 characters, you'll get this link here you can't upload more than 2000 characters in one message on discord if you don't have a really long embed like i do then it should look like this and what you're going to want to do is in this box here bear in mind if you're on mobile you probably won't be able to copy this i can't so copy that right click and copy but in my case if your source is over 2000 characters you're going to want to click this if you got the thing that i was just showing you then ignore this step but if your source is longer then click this link and you'll get the code here. But what you want to do is you're going to want to click this over here, which is just text. So if you hit Control A or Command A, 
right click and copy and this is the exact same type of code as the one here so whether you copied this or the one from this link here you can all paste the code you got in the raw json field in the coral bot embed builder so paste that and apply and there we go it's copied right here so this is exactly what it looks like in welcome as you can see here preview may be a little different like let's see let's see here this text here is white but in here it's blue so i'm just going to send that to the private channel and as you can see the text is blue and it looks the exact same now if you have any custom emoji or animated emoji the code may look like this when you send the embed again so this is the code of the emoji as you can see here it's animated here so you might want to fix that so in my case it's in this field here no it's not in that one it's in this field here so the whole code is here basically what you're going to want to do is get rid of everything that doesn't look like it normally would when you type it so this emoji is called vortex so if i paste that again so, i mean send that again it's got rid of all the code around it that's just something you want to bear in mind if you use custom emojis in your embed so what you can do with the code we just copied and sent to the embed builder is you can actually modify the embed without having to repost it so maybe you want to fix a typo or an image that has stopped working in the embed if this is the case then you can edit embeds without having to repost them this is great if you have an information channel with embeds like i do here so i used to be oblivious to the fact that editing embeds is possible in fact in my first discord video on this channel i said it's impossible to edit embeds once i post it someone told me i was wrong and they were very nice and helping me and understand how you actually edit embeds and that was probably one of the best days of my life so what i used to do is if i type number wrong here if i type number or something if i, if I made a typo what I do is I'd retype the whole embed and make it all again because I didn't know how to copy the code either and then I'd have to repost that with the fixed typo and then everything below I'd have to repost again. So anyway, how do you edit embeds? So if you followed the last tip and you've got the embed in here, then that's the first step of editing the embed. As you can see here, the title says server info. So if I go back in here, you can see server info right here. If I want to change that to something like stats or something, if I want to change it to that, and I want to modify the embed, so I want to just replace this one rather than reposting it. As you can see here, it says edited because I've edited this embed before. So, what you're going to want to do is zoom out so you can actually click this button down here because you can't scroll down, which is really annoying. So, zoom out and then click copy to clipboard. And that will copy the whole code of this embed. And then you're going to want to head over to pastebin. So, pastebin.com. You have to use this website because that's the only website the bot supports, the bot that I'm using. So if I paste the embed here, the embed code rather, you can see all the code is here. And I'm going to set this to unlisted so no one on the website can see it, just the bot. And I'm going to create new paste. So here it is. So what you're going to want to do is copy the address here. So right click and copy. And then head over to your bot channel or whatever. And to make it easier, I'm just going to copy this here. So this is kind of similar to what we did here. So instead of typing embed source, we're going to type EC embed in one word that's not easy that's EC embed one word again we're going to want to copy the ID of the embed so copy ID and then paste it here the exact same as we did here and then again you're going to want to link the channel and now what we're going to add is the paste bin URL we just copied so here we go EC embed then the embed message ID then the channel and then the paste bin link which has the code of the embed so right now we're in the welcome channel this is the embed we're trying to edit, it's a server info because we haven't edited it yet. So if I send that, if the bot has access to the URL and the channel and you linked it all properly, it should work. So as you can see here, Coralbot said edited message. So did he edit the message? If you go on the welcome channel. There we go, it says stats instead of server info now. And you can see here, edited, and if you hover over this, it says edited. 26th at 2 p.m. and that's what it is now so just like that we have edited the embed and we didn't have to repost this embed here and then this invite url here we didn't have to repost that which i had to do back in the day and it's a huge pain to do that so trust me that's one of the best things you can know about discord is you can actually edit embeds without having to repost them because making something like this multiple times just to fix a typo very annoying so if you remember we were looking at this embed earlier with the newest videos text here which we recreated the hypertext there are also two other clickable buttons now you may be asking how did i space them out like this as you can see here if i highlight this there's nothing in between so how did i get them to separate like this horizontally well let me show you so we go to the embed builder i'm going to reset so 
it's going to refresh. That's the thing I don't like about this embed builder. If you just refresh, you lose everything. So make sure you do periodic saves. All right, so just to make it easier, I'm going to replace these with one, two, and three. So they're going to say one, two, and three. So you have your title here and description. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a field. And then because we're doing three of these, we're going to want to add three. So you can tell there's three here because it says field three here, and this is the last one. And so in the first field, field one, I'm going to type open square bracket and one, and then close that square bracket as we went through earlier, open parentheses, and then I'm just going to put google.com, just for something easy to type. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it in the second field and the third field. And I'm just going to replace these. At the moment, if I send this to my channel, and I scroll down, it's going to give you an error and it's going to say this field is required. For me, it said that three times. So it said that for me three times because I have three of these fields here. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want something in here. But because we're spacing them out, I don't actually want to put any titles because clearly there's no titles here. So how do we do that? So if you head to the description below, you can copy a character, one that I have pinned here. So if I go to this message, it's a very nice character, very secret and you can't really see it. But if I highlight this here, as you can see here, I highlighted an invisible character. Just so you know, if you paste this in a channel, it's not going to have the space, it will just get rid of the character. So, if you're going to try that out, don't bother because it won't work. And I'm going to paste this invisible space here, which you again can find in the description below. So I'm going to paste this in here. So basically what this will do is, if we go back, it says this field is required. So it's basically telling me I need a title here, but I don't want a title. So how do I fix that? Use an invisible character. There is a title there technically, because it does require something, but you can't see it. So if I paste this in the first title, second one, and the third field title, I send this. As you can see, it's allowed me to send it this time, and it hasn't given me any errors. But we still haven't spaced them out horizontally. This is clearly vertically. So how do we space them out horizontally? Well, this is very obvious once you know it, and I didn't know this for quite a while. So what you're going to want to do is, for the first embed here, sorry, the first field here, you're going to want to click this box here. So check where it says inline. And then you're going to want to do this for all of the fields you want. So I have three texts here. So as you can see here, if I check all these three boxes, you can see they're spaced out. So if we send this and see on Discord, they're spaced out. So that's like what we had right here. These three different links here, but this time I just put one, two, and three and no emojis. So that's how you space them out like that. If you highlight this embed, you can see the invisible characters here. Of course, they're invisible, but they're still there. But that's not really a problem. Point is, if you type something in the title here, so I'm going to type title three, and then in the second field, title two, in the first one, title one. If I send that, it'll have the titles here, but they're very close together because the text here are short. So let me just spam here. Well, I mess up, so let's fix that real quick. Right, let's send that again. They're very crammed together, so here they were quite spaced apart. And if I send this again without the titles, or rather with the invisible space, they're not quite so spaced out now because I used long text here. But I believe if we extend if we extend the description, it'll make the embed much longer and it spaces them out. So basically the wider the embed gets, the wider the spacing between the text gets. So that's very nice. Apologize for going back and forth, this might be hard to follow, but I'm just trying to explain it. So you can add titles here. But the point is I didn't want any titles, so that's why I use the invisible character. But that's not saying you shouldn't use the titles. They're really helpful actually. And that's how you space them out. So that's just called inline text. Right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. A lot of you have requested a video on how to edit embeds, so I thought I'd embed it into this video, no pun intended. I'm just going to announce that memberships for the channel are coming soon. So look forward to that, because I am.